number 79. He's short, he's stocky, he's a little bit of a powerhouse. So he, he has he's been... He's strong, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. been muscling that bike around. Nothing wrong with that. Remember Carmichael when he was no, younger? No, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. Some kids are just like that. It depends, doesn't it? He'll probably grow, yeah. you know, in the next few years, and, and it will all be but gone. But he's certainly getting out of the traps. There he's in all white in the middle, trying to shift up through the gears. But it's Ryan Waggett with the whole shot, number 55. Yep. Just, well, I don't know, actually. It could have been... Uh, Number on the outside, it, it could have been Freddie Gardner. Yeah, it was very close between. I them. think it's Freddie Gardner pulled the whole shot on the Judd Orange Brigade KTM Wagon. as they lead over the tabletop. It is number 14, young Freddie Gardner ahead of Wagon. The inside here. Oh. Then it's Will Haddock. That's your top three. Josh Bale just outside that uh, that top three at the minute. He's in fifth spot, isn't he? Who is he behind there? Is that Benfield? No, Benfield's a bit further back. He's behind. Harlow Green's yeah. made a good start. The rider from Western Supermare in fourth. I'm sure that was Harlow. Western Supermare. This is it. Oh, it was, what a race. Oh, Freddie Gardner goes to the inside. Waggett is going to go round the outside and retake the lead. He had it momentarily around the first corner, but Freddie Gardner then yeah. down. So look at how close they are. Then it's Will Haddock. You've got the two Judd Orange Brigade KTM. They are coming through as well. But so Josh Bell yeah. already flying. Yeah, fourth spot at the minute. Number 79. He has got the uh, the muscle. Watch him through the whoops at the back in the white kit. He's just, he can he's just. He's very strong, isn't he? He's just stronger. Physically stronger. And he can muscle the bike through there. Freddie Gardner just stepping up from the 65s, of course. Yeah, 100%. Well, he's, he's on the move. He's gone past Haddock. Up to oh, third, he's now making a move on Gardner. Yeah, Remember, he took both moto second. wins yesterday, yesterday, number 79. What's going to go on it? Yeah, up the inside on Gardner. Yeah. So, oh. oh, did we have a little bump? Yeah, nearly, but he, uh, but he blocked his path. It was a nice block pass. So, Josh Vell up to second now, chasing down. So, two for one special, really, yeah. on those few corners. He managed to get through them. So, Vale on, uh, you know, some of the, up, well, the, the first uphill triple. Uh, I noticed he was taking the tighter line and not tripling up, where Ryan was going wide tripling up. Now, Vale looked to actually gain a little bit of time by doubling singling from the inside. Right. So it's just an interesting, like, you know, observation that I picked up. Uh, as you go, they go around next lap, I'm sure you probably notice it now or said it. Look at him railing all the outside. Tell you what, Josh Vale is starting to get... It's quite smart with his line. Yeah, but he's starting to get a little bit... That's a nice line. Very nice. Between the two Did major ruts. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah was that was nice. a sweet Still one. Still in that tack hunting. Yeah. Got to be tack hunting. If you're a tack hunter, you're going to be quick. Yeah, he was He was looking for that there. But Ryan Wagger is uh, looking a little bit more sprightly this morning. Uh, a bit more, a bit faster than he was yesterday, but he's gone wide. Ah. And uh, he's allowed... Vale just to sell straight through up the inside. Oh, so it, though he's still he's got he, some style. He was scrubbing it off this uh, downhill uh, yeah. jump. Watch him, number 55 in second. He gives it a little scrub off. I wonder if to Vale's going to go wide now and then triple up. No, now I don't think he will. He does. Yeah. So yeah. So maybe he was doing that just to try and I don't know gain some gain some track. You know, yeah, they're getting the up over there. Lovely. Like yep. That. But that that is so cool to see a guy of that age making those sorts of decisions. Uh, and reading a track like that. You don't see that from everybody. No, no, and that's a big jump, the 85 small wheels really? are getting up <laughs> over there. Jump, yeah. That's to them, that's almost like La Rocco's Leap, I should it's imagine. A, it's a big, yeah, it is a big jump, especially the other one as well, the other triple. So this moto is 15 plus one lap. I'll tell you what, Ryan Wagger is up for it today. Maybe, you know, he went to bed last night thinking, hold on, I've dropped a few championship points here and that lead's getting tight. Uh, if he wants to win this championship, he's got to bounce back. And he is oh, bouncing he is. back. They're he's side by back. side up the big triple. We've got a proper race on now as they go. Oh, Both of them tripping up. God. And Waggett retakes he's the lead. He's just woken up. Why are you punching me? Oh, because I'm getting excited. <laughs> and that's what I do. It's fine. I'm happy for it. Keep punching away. So, Vail actually just took a little look back then as well. Maybe to see who else, who else is coming. Hopefully, he isn't getting tired, but... Ryan Waggett has definitely upped the pace, hasn't he, on those few corners there. He's just got that, that attitude back. So um, let's see if Josh Bale can respond to this. Ryan Waggett um, is firing on all cylinders this morning. And if anything... Where has that come from? Well, He's yeah. He's away now from Josh Bale. Well, yeah. So, Vell, do you know what? I would have never thought yesterday, it just goes to show how riders can wake up on the right side of bed. Yeah, definitely. You yesterday, you, yeah. he was nowhere near Josh Vell. No. Josh Vale was totally dominant, 
And now Ryan Waggett has come out. And He's gone. had a good breakfast. I'm having this. Maybe they, maybe you know, maybe they've given him a uh, you know a ca cappuccino or something. Yeah, or maybe some cinnamon donuts. <laughs> Did indeed, we've got one to go. It's not done yet. Vail pushing, pushing, pushing. Ryan Waggett, the race leader, number 55, cannot afford to rest up here because Vail is going to push him all the way to the flag. It's the classic last lap duel where yeah. you just like, you're all in. If you're, basically, Kelvin, if they're getting pit boards now, yeah, it's just like all in, all in. All 100%. in. Kel no, Kelvin's no time. No, he, like, he's out the picture at the moment, Kelvin. He's going for the inside. So. He's going for the block pass. Waggot now, see, sees him there. This, watch this. He'll double. He'll scrub it, and he won't lose much time. Like Because he, he was, opens his corner up, and he actually, you know, there's nothing. He was kind of nice there. I, I thought he, I thought he was going to go for the yeah, genuine full-on block closer, pass. Yeah. But now, Waggot as if he didn't know, he definitely he knows, knows where he's, he's there. there now. Yeah, maybe it was a bit of ta bit tactically like that. Let me just show him a wheel. He knows I'm here, you know, a bit of a... Because I think, like, you know, on the bigger bikes, you can hear when someone's coming. Probably yeah. not so much on, on the on the 85s. So this is the new section of the track now. That jump there... I love it. For, for these kids is a, is a peach. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even for the big bikes as well, but for the kids, it's a little bit bigger. But it's a lovely little step up so into nice. a corner. So nice. So cool. I was flapping about that <laughs> yesterday. And I came around, I was like, well, I've got to do it. And I was like, oh, man, that was so nice. You know, like one of them jumps where he was like, oh, every lap. I was looking forward to it until people were breaking in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> you right. survived, mate. I survived. Got you got a job to stand up this morning, but yeah. you, could, you, you made it through. Maybe do, I might do two at Fat Cats. How about that? Get you out there. <laughs> So Ryan Waggett is, uh, is still going to keep it on the island. He's got two corners to go here. No slip up. And he's just got to yeah, get around this next corner through the whoops. No problem. Nicely into that rut. Vell is too far back to do anything from here. Literally, unless the wheels fall off, it is going to be a race win for Ryan Waggett in the opening moto. There it is. Josh Vell coming mule, in second. Mule racing over the track as well. <laughs>